Skagway, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we're at right now. If you look out yonder, we are tied up to the pier. I believe that is our train right there. Look at that. Clouds on top of that mountain. That is so awesome. There's mountains all around us. And also, if you look in this way, the town is just right there. So it's within walking distance. So that's exactly what we did, guys. We went in and took that short walk into town to check out Skagway before we took that uh, train ride into the White Pass Mountains. Skagway is a compact city in uh, southeast Alaska. It has a population of about 1,180 people. It's home to the Gold Rush era buildings that are now preserved as part of the Klondike Gold Rush National Historical Park. The White Pass and Yukon Railroads run vintage locomotives past the famously steep Chikut Trails, which offers a sweeping mountain view and uh, has a climb that goes up toward Canada. And that's the exact route we're getting ready to take later on in this video, guys. And I'm telling you, these views are breathtaking. The cameras just does not do it justice. You gotta stick around and watch that video of us on the train. It's amazing. There are a lot of cruise ships that come into this Port of Skagway, and you can definitely tell it when you're walking around the city that it is definitely set up for tourism, um, shopping, and to get that tourist dollar from you. I did walk off the beaten path a little bit, got to that local area in town. Uh, wanted to see how they lived the local Look at the gas prices guys, six bucks a gallon, which is actually less than I thought it would be. So the wife and I walked the city for a while, but we made our way back toward the port. That's where we're going to catch the train, to, uh, the White Pass train to go up into the mountains there. The railway uses uh, over 80 restored and replica-like passenger coaches, uh, with the oldest one dating back to 1883. Guys, they do a really good job of making you feel comfortable and having fun. I mean, like this conductor here, he actually comes through and takes your tickets, but there was warm coffee. Um, the, the cabin itself is heated and uh, they have a speaker mounted in each train that kind of tells you a little bit of history about the beautiful scenery that you're seeing. And guys, it didn't take me long to get outside. I'm not one for sitting around much inside that cabin. I want to get outside and feel the that cold breeze in my in my face. And I'll tell you what, when we started out, look at all the green that's down here, right? And I just had a jacket on. But as we go further and further north, you'll see, guys, we'll start to get some of that white stuff. And my jacket goes to a full-on coat. Construction on the route that we're taking today began on May 27th, 1898. And it was completed in the summer of 1900s, somewhere in that area. The railroad was built to make the journey to the Yukon's Gold fields much easier after the Klondike Gold Rush began. Construction of the White Pass uh, began at sea level uh, at the Boomtown. It was then called a Boomtown. Skagway was. It was just kind of a small town that just uh, appeared out of nowhere for this gold rush. And uh, it ended 20 and a half miles at an elevation of uh, almost 3,000 feet. And guys, if you'll notice, like I talked to you about earlier, there's some of that white stuff. As we climb an elevation, it gets a little bit cooler and some of that snow uh, starts to appear. I kept bouncing back and forth between the left side and right side of the train. I love the cascading waterfalls on the one side, but the other was just full of amazing, beautiful views with those uh, mountain peaks to where we were headed, actually. These trains do run most of the day, guys, and here's one we're passing on our way up and their way down. Um, it's going to take us to the peak, which, like I said, is about 3,000 feet up there, and then they're going to turn around and head back down. So you do have a chance to see both sides if you're riding in that cabin. You do cross several of these wooden or uh, kind of rickety metal looking uh, bridges and I kept telling myself, ah, it's safer, they wouldn't let us up here, right? This route is one of the steepest grades or climbs of any railroad in the world, guys. So although it is breathtaking and beautiful, if you have a fear of heights, you might want to look out the other side of the train for a while. Guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but what we're getting ready to do, it is bitterly cold out here, but it's worth the ride for sure. That train that just passed us, it was up on that hill I was trying to get a picture of earlier. So we're heading on the same track that they were on previously. So we're going up higher on this mountain. Um, supposedly going across some kind of rickety bridge. Oh, geez, man. <laughs> this is wild out here on the back. I about got thrown off. I don't know if you've seen that or not. But I'm loving life right now, guys. This is so fun. Some of my favorite parts were these tunnels, guys. And I'll tell you what, I'm just going to... To stop talking for a minute here and just let you enjoy some of the sights and sounds of this trip.
Guys, those sights and sounds, uh, you just can't get them back home here where I'm at. It's just an amazing experience. And like I told you, getting close to that 3,000 foot mark and look at all this snow we're starting to get on top of up here. I tried to reach out and uh, touch the old white stuff with the GoPro and the selfie stick, but it's probably a good thing I didn't. My luck, it would have hit the snow and bounced off and I lost the camera forever. Guys, I'm going to tell you something about this uh, part, of the, part of the trip that I didn't think about until I was there. Um, it's beautiful. I knew it would probably be beautiful, but you don't see a single track of, of a person. No footprints, no uh, snowmobile tracks, no car tracks. And it's just absolutely amazing and gorgeous. And that's something I didn't think about until I was there of how pristine it looks and untouched by man. Well, that was about it. They turned that old train around, started headed down the mountain. Guys, I made my way back into the cabin. Uh, two hours standing outside in that cold. I was, I was freezing. I was ready for a cup of coffee for sure. What an epic trip and fantastic memory for me, guys. I, I really appreciate you all coming along. And if you ever find your way up to Skagway sometime, you want to take the White Pass train uh, excursion, I, I highly recommend it. It's an amazing trip, guys. And uh, anyway, thanks for coming along. I'll see you on the next one, guys. I love you. Scary Barry out. Have a good one.